All right. So now we can talk about the uh, folks who should be on the committees, correct? Yeah. All right. Now, has anyone talked to either Vince or David? I don't. I, have. I know Vince. I don't know David, so I don't know what their feelings are on anything. Okay. Well, first off, um, it's fairly consistent. Um, it's very consistent, actually, um, for the officers of the PSTA board to serve two-year terms in their slots. So um, each of the board officers, Janet Long as chair, uh, Mr. Barkley as a vice chair, um, and um, Pat as uh, secretary treasurer have indicated a willingness to serve again in their, in their um, positions as board officers. Okay. So you want to take that up first? All right. Maybe a recommendation to the board for that. So there any, do you know of anybody else that wants the positions? No one nobody, else. Nobody, nobody, nobody else filled that. Nobody, nobody checked the box. Nobody's volunteering. Well, so by default, we're still there, huh? Okay. All right. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll move that slate. Wait, we're still there. Where? With the same. Does that mean we have for Janet the same, again? The same, the same officers. For the. Is, is that the uh, yes chair vice well, chair well that negates chair. the what we just did second on what do you mean we offered joe as chairman no 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 no, no. no that's, he's of that this committee no. oh. committee yeah okay yeah. okay um so i'll nominate same officers if nobody else is interested. So say it's normal for people to two years. Okay. Two years. Okay. Um, All right. So I, the, the text of reticence. Well, I, you had said mm -hmm. more than a dozen times that I can remember. Uh huh. That you wanted to go ahead and do chairman. And I do, but if Janet wants to do it, I'll defer, you know, for a year. Okay, and when does Janet leave or term out or whatever it is that she I'm was saying? Run. She was not going to run again. Oh, two years. Huh? Two years. Two more years. Yeah. Okay. If she doesn't run again. But I'm not holding my breath on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say that loud. I wasn't going to say that loud either. <laughs> I imagine her sitting home watching soap operas. <laughs> well, um, and she is saying Mary, she's right around the corner. Know? She's on her way here, so she's we right can. Right around the corner. Uh, Wait for her. If you'd like to wait for her for that, we can wait. You know, well, I'm not sure she wants to continue. Mm -hmm. to the very what? Worst we could discuss way. the committee Possibly. appointments mm -hmm. until she arrives. Yeah, we could discuss committee appointments until she arrives. Sure. Thank you. So David Banther doesn't want to drive all the way down here, right? At all? Mm -hmm. No. Well, he's on the personnel committee. Right. Um, Which means? Once a year. <laughs> um, That's pretty safe. He was, uh, I believe, wasn't he on the an alternate or on the finance Warren, committee? And yeah, he requested oh, because of his work schedule. He, or we're done. He didn't really well, want to uh, yes. drive so far. We could have and you're going to be married with children, right? <laughs> do you remember that TV program? I sure yeah. do. I apologize. I hate it when I got stuck on the phone. No problem. Well, welcome. We are so, on to the committee appointment <coughs> appointments. So David said he wants what? I know he's talked to you. Okay, okay what, David Banther. Tarpon. From Tarpon Springs. He's on the personnel committee. Uh -huh. He uh, he asked to be taken off of a monthly committee appointment like the finance committee that he was on. And he term limits off of Tarpon Springs City Commission next March. 
Uh, so Tarpon, oh, we'll get another person, huh? Tarpon will appoint a different commissioner. Um, so it will be Tarpon. When, when is Tarpon term out and then it goes to one of the other cities? Two year, three years, right? Um, the next one would be Safety Harbor. He started in 1017, so. Um, he is, uh, it would be 2020. 10. The next year. 2020 would be when it goes to Safety Harbor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so there'll be a new uh, Tarvin Springs commissioner for a year and a half. Okay. We don't know who that is, and we don't uh, know what that person's uh, desires are as far as committee assignments either. They have no idea. They have no point. point that so, yeah. okay. as you see at the very bottom, at the, huh? the very bottom. New mayor, Archie. Mm -hmm. Oh, David Archie. <laughs> He's running against all of us, right? Right. Yeah. If, if you see at the bottom of the chart, there's a there's a row called vacant, and we mm -hmm. only have vacancies on the finance committee right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have two brand new board members that will have their first meeting um, on Wednesday. Vince Cox and David Albritton from Clearwater. Um, Vince um, indicated he was willing to serve in any capacity. Okay. So I would recommend that he uh, serve on the finance committee. Okay. Um, Can we appoint him in absentia, or do we wait and see what he? Uh, do we ask him? Uh, how do we handle that? <laughs> well, I, I talked to both of these uh, new members about what the different committees and the uh, what they did and everything. Um, and I'll, after this meeting, if you would recommend, you're, you're only making a recommendation to the board. Okay. Uh, but I'll, I'll alert him ahead of time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I only talked to Vince once on this subject. That was when we were up on the uh, top of the stairs when we uh, introduced the electric bus. And that was for like two minutes. So I really don't know what his uh, feelings are on new committees. And I don't know that he knows exactly what the ramifications of different committees are anyway. So. We can assign him for now, and then he can make some yeah. choices next time. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, Mr. Alberton also indicated a willingness to serve in any capacity, but he he has a um, a, a lot of interest in the proposal to in uh, downtown Clearwater to have a new Clearwater City Hall and a county uh, joint building uh, being uh, well, it, on the property. It, it's located the mark, he's on the PSTA property. And then the city of Clearwater owns what was formerly known was the Tampa Bay Time site on Court Avenue. Mm -hmm. And um, he's supportive of, and the idea would be that there would be a swap of land and then uh, ultimately the Trans Center would be built uh, on the Tampa Bay Time site. Right. And then yeah. we've already walked that site, I think. Uh, we have. Six we've or done some ago. even environmental analysis on the site. Um, so may I speak? Yeah, sure. Brad, could you, for the benefit of the group here, uh, share what we talked about a couple of days ago with regard to why we've been asking and trying to push that as an issue along on the commission and. Mark has said no to the, the swap of the land, correct? Because it, or what was the piece that we needed help from the penny for Pinellas for? So uh, Mark uh, Woodard, uh, the county administrator, and Bill Horn, the city manager, and I have had a couple of meetings on this, this project, which has been uh, talked about for maybe more than a sure. decade. Right. Um, there was a study done in 2008 by the county on uh, looking at different sites for a new county, the joint county city building somewhere in Clearwater. That uh, the action plan now is for that study to be refreshed and uh, a new design or conceptual design and cost estimate put together by the consultant for a joint city of Clearwater. Pinellas County Administration Building on the Park Street uh, PSTA Transit Center site. It's really is our site good? and no. the adjacent property, which is already owned by the county, is a parking lot. Okay. It would be that, there. That's not that big of a piece of ground. 
Right. It, it would be too. It would be basically a full city block. Um, in it's the future, it's going to be a tall building then, or something. It would be a parking garage to allow for some downtown parking, and then the city and uh, county administration offices. Um, the city of Clearwater staff has moved out. Has already, I think, moved out of the city hall of Clearwater. The city council hasn't moved out yet, but will. But George uh, is still there. No, no. George, George has moved, moved into utilities, and the oh. council people have moved over okay. to the chamber. This is the chamber is this now is working crazy. out of the library. It's crazy. Yeah. Just, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna go to the library temporarily, Jeez. but uh, at least Davidson, they haven't done it yet. Um, anyway, <laughs> so. Uh, the county, I mean, I'm sorry, the city of Clearwater bought the Tampa Bay Times uh, building. They uh, raised it, put it, took it down. Uh, it's a vacant piece of property, mm -hmm. all with the concept that that would become the transit center. Mm -hmm. um, in the meetings we've had, we've talked about um, that both the city of Clearwater and the Pinellas County uh, administrator have said that in the Penny for Pinellas in their budgets for Penny number four, the new Penny for Pinellas, which kicks in on uh, in 2020, they have funds set aside to build this new building, uh, to build this new, a new city hall and a new county administration building. Well, it's not two buildings; it's one. It's one, use well, one building. Center. They both have set aside so tentatively some money. They're working on the design. Yeah. It's got to be tall. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the problem, there's no problem from my perspective of about us moving to yeah. a new That's location fine. in downtown Clearwater. Right. In fact, it might give us some more space right. and uh, be a better facility for our customers. Mm -hmm. The problem that I have is we have no capital dollars to build a new transit center. Mm -hmm. um, we have a, a grant, a small grant that we can spend on uh, design um, and we're working on that now of a new transit center but that's it we don't have construction funds and what i told the county administrator and the city manager is the uh, prospects of getting some kind of federal grant um, in the near future as long as congress doesn't approve earmarks it's pretty slim mm -hmm. to getting you know 10 million dollars 10 to 20 million dollars what 50 million dollars whatever it would cost us to build our transit center. Can they kick us out of where we're located now if they want to build? Not with not without PSDA's um, approval. Because uh, uh, we own that land. My, right. my point in, in wanting Brad to go through this little exercise is the fact that there's a lot on the table here right. in terms of the future of our ability to get this uh, Transporta public transportation option into downtown Clearwater and out to the beach. Mm -hmm. And I would really like to be able to have this discussion with our commission and get the commission's uh, collective wisdom to weigh in instead of just having it be a solid no from our county administrator, especially considering that at the end of this week is this last week here. You know, I think it's something that we talk about all the time that with partnerships you do more. And it seems to me that there's a lot at stake in terms of our being able to have a more effective and efficient, brand new, state of the art building for joint use government center as well as uh, a really nice transit center in downtown Clearwater. We're doing all we can in St. Pete yeah. to boost their transportation opportunities well what what the county minister said a little bit no to it was, wasn't a little bit no it was <laughs> no Brad no is no I said um, if the city and the county could build their new building with penny four dollars plus give me ten million dollars or fifteen million dollars of penny for money to build my transit center they can have the Park Street uh, center as a even deal and that's what he said no to he said that we've got to go find some trans some money to build the transit center Bill Horn uh, city of Florida seemed more open to the idea I would say um, 
But his timetable is pretty short too, isn't it? Yeah, 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway. all that is to say that Mr. Albrighton expressed a lot of uh, interest in that that specific uh, Clearwater project, um, okay. and. Um, I told him, well, a lot of that work, we're still in the planning stages, obviously, so the planning committee would be a maybe a good position for, if that's what he's really kind of focused on. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have any vacancies on the planning committee currently, but, um, you know, whether or not well, Mr. Gerard would like to uh, change her position, or um, certainly um, we haven't had great attendance by Ms. Finger okay. on, yeah. on the She's committee. She's an alternate anyway. <laughs> She's an alternate. Right. Yeah. She's ever been here. Um, I mean, I'd be glad to give up my spot on that committee. Which committee are you talking about? Planning. planning. Oh, planning. You're the chair. I know. Yeah, we got to find that another head on show. Who's on the committee now? Charlie, and Josh Schulman, <coughs> and Jen, and Vince. We're adding Vince. No, Vince, no, no he's not the finance. Oh shoot! I put him in the wrong box. I'm sorry. Well, um. She's got it off the PSTA. She's she's okay. she's leaving us after only a few months. <laughs> oh, so that's where David came from. They they appointed David and instead. David is not an elected official, is yeah, he? Yes. He is. Yeah, he's a uh, blue water uh, he just city won, council. He won. Uh, he replaced Bill Johnson in March. Okay. All right. Well, can we put Vince Cox there as well? Well, what planning? Yeah. Vince would be good in finance because of his experience with um, care right. Yeah. Yeah. I said that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Because I, well, I think we're trying to look for ways to cut that budget down a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I think he can be helpful there. So do you think that he would also agree to serve on planning though as well? Well, I, what I'm recommending is, is putting David, David Albritton on to planning. Putting, putting him in either as an alternate to replace Samantha Fanger, or if Commissioner Gerard uh, is okay giving up her seat on that, then putting him in as a member. Okay. Sure, but then we need to name a chair, right? Well, the committee will the name committee its own chair. Right, yes. okay. Did we do that here? Because I guess I missed that. Did we do that already? Hmm? We we deferred the, uh, the recommendations on the PSTA board Chair, Vice Chair, and Secretary Treasurer until you arrive. Oh, I thought I thought the appointment committee chair for was this, for this committee. For this, for this committee, committee, they renominated Joe. Oh, congratulations, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to speak. But the committees then pick their own chairs. Right. I'm more than glad to be helpful. Okay, so David Albritton is going to go up there instead of Pat. Is that what we're saying? He's going to planning. Okay. I don't know. Well, so well, the recommendation well, the recommendation is Vince Cox in the finance column. Got it. David Albritton in the planning column. Okay. Do we have any? Pat Gerard no so longer on the planning. Committee. Before before we do that. What if we remove Samantha? Then, then Pat could stay on the committee, right? Okay. If you, unless you don't want him, you know. But I mean, I mean she's, you know. she's never here, and even when she comes to the meeting, she doesn't have anything to offer or right. ask. Yeah. I, I uh, she told you last time she was going to get with it, right? I, I, I think, I think uh, we really need to have a talk. Woody. I talked to him till I'm blue in the face. 
this and this is what he told me in order for us to get Mike back because Mike keeps telling me right. he wants I know. to come he back. Tells me all the time. He says Mike has to come forward and say so and Mike won't do it. So they're passing the buck between each other. Didn't, didn't they just re vote uh, so one or two a whole new I term? I talked to Woody every month. I'm on I the am, regional planning council with him, I think. Well, I'm on a board for Largo. I, I talk to him every month. I tell him the same but thing. The, but, you know, I mean, is she up for re-election or something? They, they just reappointed her. You're kidding. The city of, Colorado, the city of Largo just reappointed her to PSD for a new three No, I'm talking no, about no, no, she up for election. Time. Oh, I don't know. It was this year. And they, they were all on the Oh, that's right, yeah. So she's got four more years. Three more years on PSDA. Um, so that one. You're not writing this down, right? <laughs> so, uh, they're very good at summarizing how to do live streams. We'll summarize. <laughs> they're live streaming. <laughs> Right. Um, well, um, Mr. Chair, if you'd like to make a recommendation why don't to we, keep Ms. Ferrard on. And I have an idea. Right. Why don't we, where is, where is she? why don't we take her off as an alternate and add Commissioner Eggers? What? What, I'm planning? Yeah. Mm. He's already on, he's already on the uh, finance. Okay, but yeah. you were more. You remember he was one of the folks last year that was expressing concern that there weren't enough members that were taking different committees. Well, he and Councilor uh, Patty Johnson sitting here. So did he volunteer for anything? What? No. David? Yeah. He doesn't come for for. Um, he does. He, yeah, he told he me he was very comfortable staying on the finance committee. He likes that. He enjoys. He enjoys the planning. I thought he would enjoy planning, but he didn't ask for it. He didn't ask for it. Filled out a survey. He didn't ask for anything new, right? And he does typically make a beeline out of here at ten thirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but well, I would be hesitant to. Be I would be hesitant to recommend that because he didn't. He didn't volunteer. He didn't volunteer to take on an, another committee assignment. Um, mm -hmm. Both Vince and David both volunteered. Okay. Um, All right. And so. then it would be up to you whether, um, and Commissioner Gerard, uh, up to her whether she would like to not be on the committee or to stay on the committee and have Commissioner Fenger not be. Um, Or be taken off as an alternate, or Commissioner Drake could be put on as an alternate. Like Do we have any ideas, folks? Charlie's on two committees on here. Yeah. yeah. You guys are pretty busy. We are, and yeah. we take this stuff really seriously. Right. So, and Josh is on two committees. Mm -hmm. um, Darden's on two. Pat is on one, two, three, four. So I was on every committee. What? Joe is on every committee. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm trying to learn Joe? the ropes. Joe. Yeah. It's the guy sitting next to you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what though? I mean, that's how you learn by being on the committee. That's what I just said. I know. <laughs> just still have an alternate for finance too that we all right. So let's tentative, let's tentatively uh, would, would uh, can we move forward with putting Dave Albritton on planning and uh, Vince Cox on finance? Yes, I would agree. And with that. move uh, Samantha to the alternate of a committee that doesn't meet so regularly. Uh, perhaps. Um, uh, personnel. Personnel. Yeah. We don't have an alternate. 
I don't, I don't, I don't think we have alternates for executive fi um, personnel and nominating, do we? No. Just the monthly well, ones. Well, where, where else do we have alternates? Finance and legislative. Okay. And planning. We already have one alternate on all uh, legislative. Just take her off altogether. Can we do that? I don't know that that's. Committees. That would be very subtle, wouldn't it? Well, oh, I mean, <laughs> what's the point of. Did she express a desire to be on anything at all? Did she turn in a form? I don't think I heard from her at all. There you go. Yeah. Can't we go back to the city? How about we go back to the city and just <laughs> let the mayor yeah. know that since we did not receive a form, is it possible that we can get another member? Doesn't the statute make requirements about who serves and who doesn't? Yeah, well, the statute does say that the city of they Fargo and like all the other cities shall uh, appoint. But the statute doesn't, doesn't say anything about committees. About committees. committees. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Well, then I hope that nobody. I hope you all remember this discussion at the board meeting mm -hmm. when people start complaining right. about who's serving on what because, right. yeah. you know, we do have members that are very non-participatory and kind of have to wonder what their responsibilities are back to their own boards. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Everybody says they care about transportation and they want it. But there's work that goes into making it happen. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing about planning? Well, I have an idea, Brad. Is it possible to get a staff member to serve on that committee? Hmm? Um, no. no. Well, if, so. if we remove Samantha, will you continue to be chair? Uh, sure. And make Albritton the alternate? Yeah. Well, he is he, with, is he, yeah. I mean, is that, is, would he be an alternate? Would he be a, he, a he full be member? Yeah. Can okay. he be a full member? No. Is there a rule that, that you can't have more than a certain number of players, uh, members on a board? Well, it's it, in isn't our it, rules and regulations. The rules and regulations <laughs> allow for five votes. Up, up to five. So it, it, if uh, all everybody was there plus the alternate, then you wouldn't vote, right? Yeah, that's right. So somebody else has got to be still vote. It, even if uh, even if he was the alternate and all five regular members were there, yeah. yeah. So would Darden consider being um, on planning? We don't need any more. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm so, so why are we still talking? About? Because we have too many, actually. Because uh, if we put Albert on there, but hate, we have, hate to have uh, Pat, you know, relinquish her chair there because uh, she's done a great job. So I could either be the alternate or I can stay on this chair and you know, make all written the alternate. So I said I'd be fine with oh, staying okay. on well, this chair. That's what we'll do then. Right? Okay. So right? strike strike Samantha and make all written the alternate? Yeah. Okay. All right. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Okay. I agree. You agree, Patty? Is it all right? Uh, now do we need to vote, vote do we need to vote on each committee separately or can we vote um, as a, as I think you can uh, take a vote to recommend this uh, with modifications that we've talked about. This Everybody assignment else will remain on the committees except let me read it to make sure I understand it. Okay, so Pat will remain chair at planning. Uh, strike Samantha Fenger as alternate. Add Steve or Dave Albritton as um, uh, alternate. And then on the finance committee, add Vince Cox as. Uh, a member, all the other committees uh, will remain as they currently are. Is that, that correct? Right. Second. Okay. <laughs> all in favor. Vote, all in favor. Aye. Uh, okay. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Now, would you like to um, go back and make a recommendation on uh, PSTA well, we board officers staying okay. the same as they are? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that would be the second thing is 
finance. Should we remain, uh, have the same uh, officers for chair, Second. vice chair, and secretary treasurer? Second. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, yeah, second. Okay, all in favor? Um, aye. 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 Okay. Do we need Thank an alternate you. for finance? Um, we do. We could have an alternate for finance? Well, it is, we, we, we have a vacancy there. Okay. All right. Um, so it's a vacancy. Uh, uh, we are missing an alternate for yeah. the finance committee. Oh. Yeah, well, we had. We, well, how we, about we make David the alternate for finance as willing, well? Would he be willing to do that? As an alternate, David would Do you have Bamford? his uh, sheet? Did I, didn't sheet? Re I didn't receive anything from, from okay. him. From Banther? Alt Albritton. Did you receive oh. anything from David Banther from Pepper Springs? Um. I'm going to have to say probably just, not because he's he, not going to be around. He long. requested to be off of a, of the a committee. Yeah, he yeah. Could. I think he was the alternate. Uh, mm. He's not shown here as an alternate. No, I think um, he wasn't. He has to. Um, all right. Well, we could. I mean, we could put alternate on as an alternate, and that would be all right. But uh, maybe whoever is going to replace Banther might want to be the alternate on finance. And, and typically, we we haven't really had a problem with the uh, membership. Uh, getting a quorum for the yeah. finance committee. Right. Um, That's because I correct every time. <laughs> <laughs> With your fine chairmanship of it, um, I seem to. Everybody shows up, huh? Yeah, it seems to come. Okay. All right. So, uh, is everybody comfortable with this to bring it to the board uh, Wednesday? Yes. Okay. We're good right. to go. Um, right. Actually, we're not taking it to Wednesday. We're taking it to the December meeting. We're, yeah, we're going to take it to December. So is there anybody? Oh, okay. So we don't have anything. We don't have to worry about it for right now. It's not. It's not nobody serious. up for election in November, right? Yeah. Uh, no. John Tornga, I guess, is up for election. But um, would he be up for re election this uh, in November? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that might be another change. I don't know. All right. So what? Maybe the mayor will be back. Uh -huh. Oh, she's coming on call with Pinellas. In fact, she's already there. She scheduled a one-on-one -on -one with me for after the election. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. Was she there? Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else that we need to talk about at this meeting? That's it? We're good? Okay. Well, thank you everyone for attending. And uh, yes, go ahead. I just wanted to, to add to we have other business, whatever. But <clears throat> last week we had the uh, candidates form in Pinellas Park. Mm -hmm. And there were like between 30 and 40 people. And all of the candidates agreed on home rule transportation and internet sales tax every single one unequivocally are you talking about legislative candidates mm -hmm. and senator candidates hmm. well I find that very interesting considering how they voted in Tallahassee yeah right yeah I, I'm just telling you what, what happened I you know yeah. what they actually do when they get home, yeah, I, I don't care. <laughs> as long as they made that pronouncement. Did you tape it? It is taped. Good. Yeah. So can, okay. can, can a non-citizen of Pinellas Park view it? The Chamber of Commerce is the one that set this all up. So. Mm -hmm. Does that be helpful? <laughs> Hold, 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 hold some feet to the fire. Yeah. 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 I mean, there were other issues that were brought up. Sure. Yeah. But I thought those three were okay. of importance to us. That's good. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. And Thank uh, you, and I apologize. No. We'll see you on uh, Wednesday. Well, yeah. Well, I heard, I heard there's something going on down here. Where I was. Yeah. <laughs>
we're going to have a beautifully efficient meeting and finish with a photo op with all of our great employees out in the lobby. Oh, cool. That's great. Yeah. Uh, how's, it, how's the bus run? So far, no headaches? The new bus. The new bus. The new bus is actually doing uh, better than our maintenance guys expected. It, uh, the drivers are needing some training on it, though, because an electric vehicle has quite a bit of uh, pickup when you 